we have secured secured the village. Maybe we need to... Uh oh. Oh, that's what I was afraid of, actually, was things spawning on top of the wall. <laughs>、hey guys, Off camera. It's been a while since I've、uh, done a Minecraft video、um, because I wanted to have a bit more stuff ready for my next episode. So I've been mining. This is my mine. It's super messy, but、um, it's getting tidier as we go. This is the. I've got this down here now.、I、discovered that you can put buckets of lava in. The forges as、uh, fuel. And so, yeah, I've been doing all sorts of things.、Uh, let's get this smelting up. As you can see, we've got some iron now, and we've got diamonds, and lapis, and emeralds, and we have gold ore. So, what do I want to take? Upstairs with me. We'll take some of the coal and we will leave this wood and these doors down here. And we don't need to take cobblestones upstairs, do we? Let's,、uh, let's dump as much of this stuff as we can in here. And we will take the rest of the cobblestones upstairs because we will use some. I use it a lot.、Uh, all right. So, do I have all of the good stuff? Uh, I'm going to want to bring some redstone. I want to start messing with redstone at some point soon.、Um, I'll take the flint as well, but I think I'll leave everything else where it is.、Uh, right. So, mining iron out of the ground is a big pain in my behind. There we go. You're all done. Let's get you in there and get the iron out, and we'll go up.、Um, It takes so much time, but、uh, it has become.、Uh, someone has made it brought to my attention. There we go, there's words. That、um, <clears throat> it is possible to build an iron farm. And it's quite complex and it's quite involved and they're quite big. And there's a lot of things I need to have in place before I can even build one. Namely, a whole bunch of iron anyway. So, you know, I'm going to be mining like this for a while. Uh, but first things first, oh god, night time. Sleep away the night.、Um, I need to find a village. Now,、um, I had a bit of a wander around the local area, and by a bit, I mean, you know, I wandered around for a few hours and didn't find a single one.、Um, and then Jock let me know, Techno Jock, a fellow Voxel Squad member, let me know that it is. Possible, you can load your save game into a map,、uh, like a viewer online, and you can have a look around and see where things are. Now, it has detailed that there are no villages nearby, not many. There is a single possible village not very far away, but、uh, other, than, um, other than that one, there are. Basically, very few. So, we are going to go and see if we can find this village. Now, I need to keep some of this redstone because I want to make a、uh, what's it called? A compass. Take the bucket with me just in case. And、uh, probably make some armor. Let's make some metal armor because I lost all my armor. Where is it?、Uh, one, two, Three, four. My sword is fine.、Um, uh, compass. There we go. So that I can find my way home again. Because I do believe the compass always points towards the spawn point. Do I have to hold it out? Let's see. Or may maybe it doesn't. Maybe it just points north. Is that north? I'm not sure. I thought that was north. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'm too close, but now I have a compass. It does seem to be doing some sort of p 
pointing. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be useful. Let's get this armor on. No, that's a bucket. Can't wear a bucket. Uh, right, so now I've made the compass. I can put that away. So I've got some tools. Uh, I should probably leave the rest of the iron here. Um, I'm going to need as much iron as I can get. So, uh, looking at it, I think, I think we're just going to go on foot. And I think it's this way. Now, I used uh, Mine Atlas to do this. Um, I'll put a link in the description for it, though uh, anyone who's playing Minecraft probably already knows about it. As we already know, I am the last to learn about Minecraft-related things in the world, ever. Oh, that's a skeleton. Where is it? Oh. He's down there. Right, let's just ignore that. We're on a mission. Find a village. And uh, so apparently when we do find a village, we're going to have to um, defend it. So we need to build a wall around it and light it up and stuff. So hopefully when we get there, let's have a little... I'm trying to follow the river. So I've got this map on my second screen. Um, and I'm hoping that... Ah, I think... I think I sort of know where we are. Now, I have got coordinates for this possible... Um, possible village location. What are they? Oh, my word. I've got to go and have a look and see what they are. But, um, yeah, I think by the layout of this water, I think I can see where we are on the map. I've got to go and see what this thing is. Um, where did it go? Oh, there it is. What on earth is... Is it a llama or something? Hello? Oh. Oh, it's... Oh, I killed it. Can I see what it is? No, just leather. That sounds like a spider. I think I'm going to leave the rest of those things alone. It does look a bit like a llama. A llama with a cute face on it. Oh, there are different colour ones too. Hello. What do you like? Do you like seeds? No. Oh, it made a, made a sheep noise. Oh, wow. These are all over here. I'm going to have to come and investigate these later. I wonder if you can get anything interestingly special from them. So I think, uh, let's think about this. I think it's over this way, this village. So I don't know really what I'm looking for, but um, like I say, I've got coordinates and I can always press, uh, what is it? F3, there we go. So what are we at now? The coordinates we're heading for are 184 by negative 184. So we are currently at 30, negative 30. So I think we are indeed heading in the right direction. Uh, I think if we hit water, we've gone too far by looking at my map. I have my sword back. Hello, pig. So this is... Ah, yes, we're going to go through some forest. Hey, wolf. Some... Let's go this way, around here. Now, I think if we keep going in this direction, following the edge of this forest, we should hit a river. That's a oh, big high up bit. Oh, I see water. So maybe this is a river over here. Let's get rid of those cords. Much better. Um, did I see water? Oh, it's water in a cave. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. It's not, not a river. Let's squeeze through here. Okay, we're in the forest now. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Now, the compass does appear to be pointing back towards the base. Or the house, even, wherever that is. Oh, what are these? What did I just get? Oh, roast bushes. Sweet. Now that is a zombie. Where is it? It's probably under a tree somewhere, not being burned alive. Uh, right, so we've hit the river. We want to sort of go... 
keep the forest on the left until we're out of the forest biome. And then the village should just be right nearby. So uh, I'm going to continue having a look around here. Uh, see if we can't oh, find this place. Uh, I might grab some more of these rose bushes actually while I'm here so we can decorate the... Our little town area. Yeah, have some of them. Um, see, now I'm a little bit lost. I think it does look. It is a. Oh, there it is! No coming back is necessary. Let's go and see what we've got to protect. Now, I was told it's a good idea you throw a wall around it. But this. My word. <laughs> Let's have a look. Ah, hello, villager peeps. I know, hello. Oh, is it because I've got my sword out? Can I... How, how, do you feel, how do you feel about buckets? Um, let me... There we go. How do you feel about buckets? Buckets are okay, then. I love the noises these things make. Right. So, this looks like it's going to be a nightmare to build a wall around. This could not possibly have appeared in a, a more annoying spot. Oh, look, and there's a giant hole. Right, so we need to get a wall around this whole thing. But I think we should just put torches on everything to start with. Let's uh, light everything up. Hello. Go about your day. Don't mind me. Random guy come to do renovations. So here we have uh, more farms. Oh, I didn't bring any axes with me. Stupid, stupid vex. I wonder if any of these guys have got axes that I could steal. Have a look. Whoever built this town here? Idiot. Look at this. This is insane. Oh, hello. That guy looks like a doctor. I don't know whether they actually have jobs or anything. I'm not sure. Look at this. This is this is silly. Um, but I bet, uh, I guess, I'd better get busy. Um, otherwise, I am going to run out of daylight and it's going to get horrible. Uh, so, yeah, let's let's get going. Ah, zombie attack! Suck it, zombie! Die! No, I'm supposed to be protecting these villagers. And you're attacking. It's not good. I have all your XP, though. Oh! Oh, it's a villager that's a zombie now. Okay. Sorry, villager. Oh. You know there's no cure but that. Don't want... Oh, that's a creeper. I don't like creepers. Avoid. Avoid. Okay. They don't appear to be any more zombies smashing doors in. Close that one. Let's go in here where there's a villager. Hello. Oh. He is a cleric. He will give me emeralds for rotten flesh. Oh. Or is that the other way around? He will give me rotten flesh in exchange for an emerald. I don't know. Oh, hello. Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to let him in. You okay? Good. What? Oh, okay. Now, are they going to keep coming? I heard a switch. Hmm. Still, this place is a lot larger than I was expecting. Um, building a wall around this is going to take ages. So maybe I'll just light the whole place up so nothing spawns nearby and uh, leave it at that. I'm not sure. 
Anyway, I am going to hide in here for the night with this villager and uh, I'll bring you guys back. So the wall, I think, is mostly complete. I'm hoping that gates will be enough. Um, so I'm still not finished finished. Uh, the wall is complete. Now, a friend of mine said it needs to be too high all the way around. Um, I think I started OK over here and then it got really hilly. And let's face it, the wall gets really tall in places. As you can see, it's massive. It's taken a very, very long time. Um, but I've also put some torches and things around to light the place up inside. And I've done a little bit of tidying up with the weird landscaping. Um, I still need to do a ton more. But I think this village is a lot safer now. So what I need to do is we go over here because it's the easiest place to get up on top of the wall. And we need to go around and can I get up here? I can. Can I reach those? Oh, that'll do. That'll do. Nice view. So what I need to do is I need to go around and I need to go to these areas over here where all these trees are uh, and get rid of them because they are going to provide uh, a way for zombies to climb up the wall. So all of these trees down here need to go. Um, so let's get started. We'll do them from the top. Why not? How many are there? Quite a few. We'll only have to do these ones, I hope. And then we have a secure village. Um, now I know I need villagers later on um, to do things like iron farms uh, and stuff. Uh, but for now, I think it's just going to be a good place for me to come and trade because I've been getting emeralds and I'm not sure if they have any other um, application other than collecting them and trading them with villagers. I'm sure... I'm sure people will correct me if I'm wrong there. But um, I'm going to go ahead and assume that for now. Because I've got a few back at home. Um, so maybe, maybe someone here wants to sell me some iron or something that I can't get. Uh, but I also noticed that these guys have got carrots in their uh, farms. So I'm going to steal some of their carrots. And um, because I've managed to get some sticky slime stuff... I think I can make a uh, a lead now as well. So no more having to lure things. Uh, but also it means I should be able to make a um, fishing rod with a carrot on it for riding of pigs. Because obviously riding pigs, you know, who wouldn't want to ride a pig? So let's make sure I've got all of the wood out of these. Otherwise they won't disappear and the zombies will climb up them. No, that all looks good. Let's have a little oh, run. Am I? Oh, I'm hungry. Let's eat the food. Actually, I should probably be putting torches up as well, shouldn't I? Let's go one, two, three. Like this. I'm not going to be able to continue that up there, am I? Um, Because Ideally, we want them down low, don't we? So that they spread the light. Let's just try not to be too fussy about the placement of them. Because I'm kind of limited by how many I've got. But this should light up the outside of the wall nicely. And here we go, back into an area of more trees. So get the axe back out. Oh, right, so you get an idea of what I'm doing. Um, I'll probably go around the outside and trim some of the ground away as well. Um, but there's no reason, again, for you to watch me do that because super boring and you've seen me chop trees down before. So uh, I'm going to get this all done and I'll bring you back when it's finished. Die tree. And there we go.
So I've only got a couple of gates on uh, over there and over there. But um, yeah, there we go. I think we can consider village safe. It's night time. There are no griblies inside the wall. And everyone is safe. I would say mission accomplished. I have absolutely laden this entire village with torches. As you can see, the villagers are very happy. Actually, they were all out and about at night a little while ago. Uh, but they're not now. I can hear zombies. Where's zombie? Must be outside the wall. Right, I am going to get my butt back home now. Let's see. Did we get anything good that we can take back with us? Um... We'll take our compass back, or well, at least it will help us get back. We'll take all our tools, the tiny bit of iron we've got. We'll take all of these bits in our bucket, I guess. We'll take the seeds. Everything else can pretty much stay here, can't it? Um, I will take the wood. We are a little short on wood. Uh, that's all we can take, actually. Let's dump that back and take some of the wood instead. Right. Sleep away at the night. And uh, yeah, I'm going to get my hiking boots on. And uh, we'll bid goodbye to the villagers for now. We have secured secured the village. Maybe we need to... Uh-oh. Oh, that's what I was afraid of, actually, was things spawning on top of the wall. He's going to burn, isn't he? Where is he? Hmm. Okay, maybe I need to go along the top of the wall with torches. I have got some left. Let's do that now. Um, how am I going to get up? I'm just going to nerd pole up, aren't I, right? Whoop. Right, let's just fill the top of this with torches now. Should be easy enough. Uh, one. There we go. And here we are, back in our own neighbourhood. Oh, that took a really long time to build that wall. I think I may have gone over the top with it. But I wanted to make sure, considering there isn't another village for miles and miles around. Where does that go? I don't remember that being that deep. Perhaps a creeper fell in there or something and exploded. But here we are, all the way back home again. Now, I think we need to get villagers from the village, which is all the way over there. Oh, loading. Uh, to here. We need to get villagers back to the base. And I'm not sure how we do that. Um, so I will be looking into that. Eat some pork chops. But here we are, all home. Hey pigs. Hey cows. Hey sheep. Oh, I forgot to bring carrots back with me. Doofus. I'll have to go and get some tomorrow. Oh. oh, loading. More loading even. There we go. All back home. Safe and sound. All the villagers safe and sound. And uh, just as the sun is going down. Um, I'd just like to remind you guys to press all the buttons that I usually ask you to press. And uh, I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me today as much as I enjoyed making this video for you. So until next time, I've been Vex, and I'll see you later.